Hi everybody, Broken Eeps here, and welcome to today's video. Today's video should be an interesting one for you. So, this will be a series of four videos which chart my progress and experience of Kashi OS Linux. So, having dumped Microsoft Windows and migrated it over to Kashi OS, how has the last month been? Uh, well, if I said it's been flawless and trouble-free, uh, I guess you'll all laugh. You'll all be like, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Uh, no, I wouldn't, if that wasn't the truth. Cache OS um, has allowed me to build perhaps my most ever comprehensive PC gaming box and migrate away from the Windows as a gaming platform. Now, I know that Windows 24H2 has been released and there's an awful lot of content out there on YouTube, most of it completely misinformed about the downsides of Windows 11 24H2 screenshotting, co-piloting and all the rest of it. However, my decision to switch away from Windows and over onto Linux comes down to one simple word, trust. Do I trust Casio Linux to work day in, day out and provide me with a stable, fast, compatible and reliable gaming platform? Or do I trust Microsoft Windows not to hive data off of me all over the fucking place? Despite their reassurances, despite what they say, despite all the misinformation out on YouTube. Because, be under no illusions, Microsoft Windows is still the OS of choice for gamers. No matter how good... Linux gets, the majority of people will always use what came with their PC, which in most cases is Windows. <coughs> Excuse me, I do also have uh, the first bad cold since I had my stroke last August, so I probably sound, sound like shit, I certainly feel and look like shit, but hey. Uh, the show must go on. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, just let me off chuck. Oh, my bed a bit more and get a bit more comfortable. Okay, so Cache OS has been amazing to me. I've been doing the updates daily. I have a daily backup regime whereby I'm using um, Time Shift. And basically, before I do an upgrade, I take a backup, a snapshot. And I always keep one snapshot on hand, which is pre-update. So if there is ever an issue, I can roll it back and hey-ho, I'm good to go. Now, so far, Cache OS has been so flawless on the update routine that it's almost made doing a backup pointless. A backup's never pointless. It's just insurance, isn't it? Um, but anyway, that's my regime. So I do a backup and then I do a full upgrade. And this is a daily thing um, because there are so many updates for both drivers and software packages on Cache OS because it's built and based off of Arch. You're using bleeding cutting edge software. So therefore, there's always going to be tons of fresh updates every day however um, i'd like to give a massive shout out to the cache os dev team because they do a fantastic job absolutely fantastic mind-blowing awesome now i've also um laid out my main games which is american truck simulator and star wars the old republic um, i am also doing um, an older game series, which at the minute is Half-Life, the original Half-Life. And I want to give another th shout out. Thanks to Jeff, a.k.a. Low Spec Linux Laptop. Um, I've also really started to explore 
older games um, and have some fun with them. Uh, running them on Cache OS rather than Zorin or Linux Mint or MX Linux. I've also started bringing some native games down. Uh, so I've got Zero AD. I've got Red Alert series down as well. Um, so I've gone for Open Morrowind, Open RA. That's all installed. And these are all running beautifully. However... Thanks to Jeff, bless him, unbeknown to him, um, he's currently doing the um, the Deuce X Game of the Year edition. Thanks to him, I have also purchased it, downloaded it, and set it all up quite easily and quickly on Cache OS. This is apparently the best game ever made, bon on, <laughs> according to the internet, of course. But I've also uh, been having a sniff around Jeff's channel and I decided to have a go with Nolf. So I bought Nolf down uh, and installed that and set it up and sucked it into Steam and it runs. Beautiful. Uh, never having played Nolf, uh, Jeff, of course, has played it. And it's set up beautiful. Now, there is also a Nolf 2. So, I may well have a look at Nolf 2 and bring that down. But these are all games, should I live? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Which I plan to do in the future. And there's a whole raft of older games that I'm currently buying up, adding to the collection, installing, configuring, setting up and testing. And so far, Cache OS has been absolutely flawless. So, there you go, everybody. After one month, um, my hardware is maximised to the nth degree. Um, Cache OS Linux, built and based off of Arch, is running so fast if you blink, you miss it. And I now have the most fully loaded and most comprehensive game gaming platform I think I've ever had. Now, on as if this wasn't all enough, um, I've also done things like brought down some DOSBox games, which is really interesting. So if we just go to DOS games, and things like Panzer General, General, you know, and I find that I'm able and capable of running games from, you know, the 90s, which is fantastic. And it's all taken care of on the one platform. So I really, really am in a delightful place at the minute with Cache OS. I am using an older AMD4 platform, AM4 motherboard. Um, I'm using a Ryzen 1600AF, 6-core, 12-thread processor, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, and an AMD Raiden RX 588 gigabyte graphics card. And I have to be honest, the system is just so damn good. I can't praise it enough. Um... Of course, it's now the 13th of the 10th. On the 13th of November, I will do my two-month update. When I hope to have done quite a lot of video content on American Truck Swota and the Half-Life series as well in another calendar month's time. Um, and I'll let you know if it was still a great, great choice for me to dump Windows and come over to Linux full time. I know what the question is that's burning in the back of your throat. Should you dump Windows and go to Cache OS? Well, my advice to you would be absolutely fucking not. Because, you know, I've really come to realise that I can't change the world. I can lead a horse to water, I can't make it drink. And 
the majority of the world doesn't give a flying fuck what operating system I or they are running. So my advice to you is if you're currently on Windows and you're sick of all this shit that Windows is throwing at you and you find your PCs running like a fucking dog and you want to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 but you discover that the upgrade process is completely fucking changed which nobody's talking about you can't just run an upgrade like you used to in effect to run an upgrade now on Windows 11 it does a full fresh install of Windows 11 24H2 oh yeah there's all sorts of shit and shenanigans kicking off However, for me personally, moving to Cache OS has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my computing life. But I don't know what your hardware is, what your use case is, who else is going to use your PC. Don't forget, Cache OS Linux isn't fucking Windows, no matter how much you try and gloss over it. I'm going to spend the next month gaming and loving the pants out of all the Windows YouTube shit that's kicking off. And I'm going to sit here and giggle, stick my middle finger in the air and think, do you know what? I am so, so glad I don't have to suffer that shit any longer. Massive shout out to each and every one of you for your continued support. I hope you're loving your gaming or whatever it is you're doing on your computer please stay in touch i will probably do some linux slash windows content over the next calendar month because 24h2 on windows is just too good and too juicy not to but i will do my absolute best not to spread misinformation have a great great weekend much much love to each and every one of you stay safe Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.